I'd just like to do a big mihi um, to our Ranga Tira uh, president, Presidente, uh, Mr. Jack, uh, to our new table, our uh, executives, uh, which is, uh, we've got Roy, a new VP. No, 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 no. So we've got Roy, which is our, our new VP, and we've got um, David Symes, our um, secretary. Where's our sergeant of arms? Where's Grunter? And a big mihi to you, Grunter, to our new table. Yeah, no mihi, no mihi arohaka kutu. Uh, to Donna, who's our who's our ambassador for Tepuku, Tepuku which is the Waikato area, to the table, uh, the, the Tepuku table, and all the members, all the Fano, and and all the supporters that are that are here today. Since this is our first Matariki, it's really important. I reckon I, I feel that um, a little bit of an explanation about Matariki, perhaps what that means to us as a club. And, and also what that means to us, uh, being here, being in Waikato, Tainui. I'd like to show you this little, I pulled this thing out of the magazine, uh, out, of the, out of the internet, and it, if you can just see it there, yeah, it's called Te Paki o Matariki. So I'm not going to go into all the details about what that actually means. We've got some amazing experts out there in the country that are able to talk about Te Paki o Matariki. But I wanted to emphasise that what this is, is a newspaper which was printed way back in 1893. And it features the, uh, the, the coat of arms, which is this design here. But I want you to pay attention to this particular design up the top here. They are the seven stars, Te Paki o Matariki, so they're actually basically the seven stars. And that's pretty significant to hear people, especially if you're from Waikato or from Tainui. Let me take you back in the past. E araiki te kore rā kui mā koroma, i ngā rā o mua, ka noho pukuriri a tāwhiri mātea. So tāwhiri mātea has got a lot to do with Matariki in terms of one version of the story. And there's many stories out there. Tāwhiri mātea, as you know, was one of the gods of Rangi, Rao and Rao Kupapa Tūanuku. When the separation ha happened, he said to his brothers, are you happy now? Because he was actually against the separation of Rangi and Papa. He said, are you happy now? Well, you fellas do your bus. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go up into the stars and I'm going to stay with my dad. I'm going to live there until eternity. So what that basically means is all the, the, the face of Tafiri Mata in the stars. Because out of all the brothers, Tafiri Mate is one of the most elusive ones because you can't see him. You can see you can see Tane Mahuta, the big tree, but Tafiri Mate has always been the elusive, invisible one. But in actual fact he's not. He's been in plain sight all this time. And so his face, Ngamata, Ngamata o Tariki a Tafiri Mate, the faces of of Tafiri Mate can be seen in Matariki. So that's only just one story. Because we're coming back again to the Tapaki of Matariki, which is this thing here, the seven stars. And again, you're going to hear the nine. There's 11 stars. In fact, when you go out into the cluster, there's actually 500 stars if you've got good eyesight. So coming back to Tapaki of Matariki here, and it's still used today. So let's look at some uh, honourable mentions of why seven. So the seven messages, seven angels, seven stars, the seven colours of the rainbow of Uenuku. Uenuku is a sacred uh, stone that was brought from Tainui, from Hawaii, uh, that manifested, uh, the spirit of Uenuku was manifested into a carving called Uenuku, and that carving is now here in Tawabutu. So there's that reference in terms of Uenuku. The seven sisters, the seven daughters. So the seven daughters is also attributed to Atlas. You know who Atlas is? He's the guy that holds up the heavens. He's sort of like the equivalent to, to Tane Mahuta, who separated the sky and earth. Now, Atlas had seven daughters. They were <coughs> pursued by Orion, which is a, another star. And because of the beauty of these wahine, he's, he's been wanting to pursue them. Mairamo, uh, till eternity. Matariki's been in plain sight everywhere. And Matariki has been celebrated by many cultures, many indigenous cultures right across the world. 
as far as the Pacific and in other ancient cultures. So it's an old story. It's, it's an opportunity for us um, here in New Zealand to celebrate a real holiday that has meaning, a holiday that is connected to us and to the stars, and, and something that's real. So we don't have to worry about um, a bunny rabbit running around and nesting eggs, some guy that blew up a building, Guy Fox, or some guy wearing a, um, a red suit. But Cape de Pie, those are, those are also great holidays too to celebrate. And so we can just add to the richness and the diversity of the, the, the stories that are already there for us, for Matariki. And also, let's look at the, the fun facts. Uh, whereabouts is uh, Matariki actually situated there in space? Well, it's around 450 light years away from our solar system. But what exactly what does it mean? What is a light year? Um, unfortunately, our Harleys can't go that fast. We'll need someone with a Ducati. Can you, can you go light speed? I've got a few Ducatis around here. <laughs> okay, so it's 450 light years away. Okay, let's look at it this way. Right, okay, okay, let's do some calculations here. In one year, you would have traveled 9.5 trillion kilometers. So it's a long way. It's, um, it's right next to the constellation Tepudu, the bull. Any Taurians here? May, June? Any few? Hands up, any Taurians? I'm a Taurian. Okay. Oh, any Aries, any Sagittarians that are here? <laughs> See? So believe it or not, you're, you have already been written in the stars. Yeah, you already have a connection to the stars. So a big kia ora. Um, so as we know, Matariki is the name of Pleiades. Pleiades is the Greek name. Remember the Greeks? They've had the bragging rights for two, th two and a half thousand years of the stars. Well, now... We, as Indigenous and as Māori and as New Zealanders, can brag about our holiday. Sure. So the appearance of Matariki. Time to remember. Joy, peace. We've got a lot associated to Rongo Mātāne. Rongo Mātāne is the God of peace. Okay? Because when you've got everything done and you're sitting, it's a, it's a time to be creative, especially for our artists and singers out there. And again, I think I mentioned it somewhere in some, some sort of quarter. It's about community, commune, the, the opportunity to commune, and um, unity. And that's where the word community actually comes from. To acknowledge our dearly departed, our loved ones, for this year, because it, it heralds the new year, the closing chapter of the old year, and the ushering forth of the new year. And, oh yes, and to share the bounty and the harvest that is here. And that's why kai has a lot to do with Matariki. So we've got this beautiful dish here that we're going to feast on. I'm not going to take too long. But again, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's here today. And to everyone out there that's celebrating Matariki right now in the country. Ngā mihi aroha, ngā mihi maha na keo koutou, katoa, mauri ora. And now our song, Maria, come on, come up here. Come on, come on Maria. The Paki of Matariki. <laughs> <laughs>